This is going to be an instructional video to show you how to program your Eppendorf Explorer pipette for use with the Definity RapidTip and RapidTip 2. It'll familiarize you with some of the buttons and the modes that you can use to get the most out of the Definity RapidTip products. So first we're going to look at the wheel up here. This is where your options and your different modes are. What we're going to focus on in the pipetting modes is manual and pipette. We'll get back to that in just a moment. Down here we have the up and down arrows for aspirating and dispensing. And we have two soft keys, one on either side, and those are going to change functions based on what's on the screen at the moment. And we have the release lever right here, and that's going to release your tips from each channel of the pipette. And it also, when you hit a button, it turns on the screen for a little while, um, but right now it's on off, so it goes to sleep. So we'll change it over to options for now. Uh, most of these options we don't need to get into too much um, brightness and sound level, but one thing I do want to let you know about is the counter, and we're going to hit select on the left right here. You can turn it on and off using the up and down arrows and what that's going to do is it's going to start at zero and when you start your um, one minute cycle for aspirating and dispensing your PCR product um, it's going to count how many up and down cycles you do so it's kind of helpful to see how many cycles you go through in a minute and to maybe optimize that for yourself so we'll leave that on for now and we'll hit end to go back to the menu and we're going to change this over to pipette mode first. It says pipetting on the top. And right now it's set to 30 microliters with an aspirate speed of 1 and a dispensing speed of 8. And the counter starts at 0. Um, so now we're going to try and edit some of these features. For rapid tip, it's going to be a 25 microliter sample volume and it's going to be over aspirated up to 50 microliters on the pipette settings. So we're going to go to edit over here on the left and it highlights the volume. So we want to put that up to 50 microliters. So there we go and then we can hit next and it'll highlight the aspiration speed. Right now we have it at 1, the highest is 8, and so we think that 2 is one of the optimum speeds to aspirate with, so we're going to leave it at that and go to next. Um, since the highest speed we, you can do is 8, um, I think 4 is a good dispensing speed for that. So we're going to go next again, and it highlights the counter, which we're going to leave at 0 and we're going to hit end. It saves our changes and so now you'll be ready to pipette up and down and with pipetting mode you only need to hit each button once and you don't need to hold it for it to aspirate or dispense the whole 50 microliter volume. So we'll see what that looks like right now. You hit up and it goes all the way to 50 and then you hit down and it aspirates the full volume and the counter went to 1 because I did one cycle of up and down. So one thing that this pipe header does by itself that you will either want to know about or want to stay away from is if you have already hit the dispensing button, if you hit it again it will do a blowout function. This is really good for the last cycle of your one minute um, purification time, but if you hit it in the middle it'll blow out your sample but it will also suck back in to get back to a zero microliter volume um, so if you don't want to mess up your pipetting um, during that minute you'll want to stay away from the blowout function um, but if you want to use it at the end we highly recommend that it helps to get the extra volume that might stay behind in the tip out into your sample so this is pipetting mode and we're just going to change it down to manual mode and it says at the top manual pipetting and this works just the same as the pipette mode we're going to edit the volume we'll keep it at 60 because that's the volume that you want to use for rapid tip 2 it's going to be a 50 microliter sample volume 
um, over aspirated to 60 microliters on the pipette. Aspiration speed of 2 is correct. Dispensing speed of 4. And there's no counter at the moment on this one. We'll hit end. And the thing that's different about manual pipetting versus um, the other pipetting mode is you need to hold down the button to get the full 60 microliters um, aspirated into the tip. So if I just hit it once, it's only gone to 6, um, so it didn't do that whole volume, so you need to really hold. And then it goes, and then dispensing is a lot faster, um, but it'll dispense that whole volume if you hold it down. Um, so that's really all we use for this pipe header. We think that this um, is optimum. Whatever you want to do versus manual or, or regular pipe heading is up to you, but we hope that this was informational for you. And if you have any other questions or need more information, you can call 877-362-1812 or go to definitygenomics.com and request more information there. Thanks very much and happy pipetting!